Hi everyone, you alright? Uh, didn't go out today um, Well I did But I forgot to film it <laughs> um, Yeah It's been absolutely Totally throwing it down here um, I was going to go into town But uh, Well Things happened Didn't they um, yeah, um, <clears throat> a big massive shout out to all the usual, Helen's crowd loud and proud, um, old Blackpool biker, he put out a video today, um, also take a walk on the wild side, yeah, I just hope everything worked out okay at the Blackpool Tower, because somebody said that they saw smoke coming out of the place. That's why the fire brigade turned up. Um, yeah. Um, and they were checking Harry Ramsden's and all that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. It's been quite a uh, quite. It's been quite an odd, odd day today. Um, yeah, Blackburn with Darwin think they could get this uh, city status thing due to the heritage of the town, you know, um, yeah, well, to tell you the truth, young people in Blackburn don't give a toss about history. Um, they don't. Uh, the major problem is with Blackburn. It it doesn't have it doesn't have a very good tech sector. Um, there is no, shall we say, made. It doesn't have a major ISP, uh, internet service provider. That uh, op has its HQ here, uh, the, and you know, the, you know, to be to be anywhere, to get anywhere, uh, is that you know you're gonna have to develop your tech because uh, that's the way things are going, and people were saying to me. Um, there are absolutely loads of jobs. Yes, there are at the moment, at this moment. But what people aren't uh, aren't um, putting into account is that a lot of jobs will be disappearing very soon. Yeah. So, you know, um, are going to be disappearing very soon because I've I've been hearing that uh, a large number of supermarkets are sitting by the wayside about. Um, uh, shall we say staffless um, checkout of which you um, put your stuff in a basket of, it's basically the Amazon Fresh um, Amazon Fresh um, sort of thing uh, you pick them up and you put them in your basket. Then you you just walk around the shop and just pick the stuff up. And then once you've filled your basket, you you 
go to a uh, certain area and uh, yeah you bag them up and uh, take it away and it goes to your either because what you have to do folks is basically set up in an account and uh, at the end of the day you um, everything's charged to your account and uh, this is the way that a lot of supermarkets are going to go um, and you know they don't have to have staff on uh, on on the checkouts and everything all the people will be there is the uh, security and everything to make sure nothing gets nicked um, yeah Morrison's are still carrying on with the experiment in Bradford across the road from their HQ um, and what what you do in there you go you have like a, a reader you put bring up the my Morrison's app uh, yeah my yeah the Morrison's app and uh, you just check out that way and uh, you just tap you just tap your phone on a reader as you go out with your stuff or the stuff that you've bought and uh, it charges it charges it to your uh, a f to your phone or um, it goes on your next phone bill and uh, it saves a lot of hassles uh, Blackpool uh, as I said earlier on uh, um, old Blackpool biker put up a video really enjoyed it so did Colin building Blackpool better but uh, also take a walk on the wild side was uh, doing a um, a piece about uh, the um, new office block that's going to go up well apparently that new office block is going to be the new headquarters new headquarters for the northwest DWP Department of Work and Pensions because where they have their um, office uh, in Blackpool, the other side of Blackpool, it's on an industrial estate and uh, what they're going to do is once they get this new building put up it's going to, it's going to have 3,000 civil servants in it um it's they're going back to the old way of doing things uh the major 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 change that they're going that they're going to do uh i think it's leaming place i think it's called um industrial park um they're basically going to close the office there because they're coming up to the end of the, they're coming up to the end of their term there so they're going to build this uh, 3000 the, this uh, office block it's going to be for the department of work and pensions like i said they're going to move quite a lot of um the dwp into that new into that new building and then what's going to happen with their old building uh, there are rumours that it might get demolished and uh, a new building put there. Um, a multi-storey uh, office, another old, another multi-storey office block for somebody else. Uh, I don't know what the somebody else is, but it's going to be a large, large entity that's going to uh, going to get it. Some people were telling me that it's, you know, going to be um, 
um, well, it's going to be an office block, a new office block. Whilst you know, and I think that's going to uh, be uh, another DWP project because they're talking about um, you know moving quite a lot of stuff from uh, Blackburn. Um, what it will was what I heard is that they're going to be closing the child support ag agency at Blackburn and moving it uh, elsewhere because what they're eventually the Blackburn Job Centre will be knocked down will be knocked down and replaced with something else um, that's the rumour that's the rumour but uh, I'll believe it when I see it when that when that uh, if that's knocked down uh, if they do knock that down uh, they most probably put something residential there like a tower block hopefully hopefully um, also across the road uh, what used to be Daniel Thwaites is now an arts centre yeah doing arts um, the development on the Daniel Freight's website on the Dan Daniel Freight's uh, site has been delayed due to um, the testing huts uh, that are on the car park there are still being used for lateral floor testing and all that sort of stuff um, because um, th they don't have the capacity up at the Royal Blackburn to do the tests there um, a lot of the scientists up there are threatening to walk out uh, something to do with pay and all the time and this, that, and the other for doing tests. Um, also, our prime minister is turning into a right nincompoop. Um, he made an announcement today that he wants to see um, more people take up boosters. So that uh, is going on. And uh, I don't know why they can't let uh, pharmacists do it because they do the flu jab. Um, I think Boots. Boots do a number of uh, different types of jabs. So I don't know why they can't give it to them because uh, quite a lot of their stores do have fridges for some of their goods. So, you know... I don't know why they can't uh, give the contract to them and uh, it would be a nice uh, earner for them. Yeah, this week is going to be quite an interesting one. We'll see what happens from tomorrow. Uh, as you most probably... George is in the other room at the moment. He's uh, sleeping on the settee and... Alf is you know, slap bang in the middle of my bed and uh, he's, you know, he's, he's uh, sp sprawled out and everything. I've got Ideal World Shopping Channel on at the moment in the background. They're trying to flog watches to people. Yeah, um, I've, been, I've been watching PT blogs. Oh my word, when they went on that uh, extreme. Oh dear, she wasn't very happy, was she? Oh dear, she wasn't very happy about that. Especially going up on that roundup, uh, roundup gravity wheel sort of thing. She said that um, it was the flat bit what was the worst bit. When it went vertical, well she said it wasn't too bad. 
but uh, I, I I really do feel that she she hurled at the end of the, end of that end of that blog. I, I must admit, God, you wouldn't get me on any of them rides at all. Um, also, I've been see, seeing the um, reaction to the Grand National. The Grand National's been uh, they turned round and listed it. Well, to be truthful, to be truthful, I don't like the idea of that, of what uh, of what they've done, of what's happened there, because the problem with that is that if anything was to go wrong with the Grand National, right? They couldn't really do any repairs to it if it's listed because they'd have to leave it SBNO uh, standing but not operating of which would be a uh, how can I put it yeah it would cause the Pleasure Beach problems because having a having a ride SBN old because it's been listed and it's a thing that um, is how can I put it unique it's a unique ride uh, or because like they were talking about uh, RMC coming in and doing some something to it you know, to, you know, revamp it and everything. But uh, since they've put a preservation order on it, it really spoils the, uh, you know, kit upkeep for that ride. Um, I know it's over 100 years. You know, I know it's been up for quite some length of time. You know, if they can end up doing that to uh, that sort of ride, you know... Um, I could see them doing that at Big Dipper as well, you know. So it put a preservation order on that, and I just hope. I wish these people would would not, you know, these societies wouldn't, uh, you know, these people who put preservation orders on stuff. I just sometimes, they, they, you know. They shouldn't be really doing it, you know. Uh, ride fairground rides or amusement park rides, shall I say? Um, in a lot of cases, have um, they have uh, they have a. I'm trying to think what it what they call it. They have a they have a life cycle, and. After that life cycle, they're meant to be replaced. You know, like take the wild mouse. After a while, the wild mouse got it got so dangerous to ride. Um, it got really unsafe um, due to the because like they had to put new braking system on it and everything, but. They were finding out that uh, with this new braking system, it kept breaking down. The old braking system was a lot better than what they had uh, had had on it. So, at the end of the day, the m- wild mouse got got to a point that you know it wasn't worth uh, keeping because they couldn't really get bits for it. And uh, it's just one of those things. And I just hope uh, people people who do do uh, the these sorts of things put preservation orders on stuff, especially amusement rides. Guys, don't put don't put preservation orders on them because it's like it's like anything else. They word out. And if the ma- take um, 
Schwarzkopf, the ride maker, right? You know, um, once the people that make uh, Olympia looping and rides like that, some of these rides are just one-offs. You know, they're experimental. And putting, you know, putting preservation orders on them and stuff like that, well, it's not really the way to go because rides are meant to be de you know, developed and uh, once they once they've, you know, once they've got to a certain age, you replace it with something else, because, or improve, improve on it. I'd like to see the Grand National get some new, get some new uh, carriages on it, you know, and, uh, you know, but they can't even do that now since they put a preservation order on it. Yeah, bit of a bummer, really. Um, and if um, Fort Park gets a new roller coaster, which will make it, because what they're talking about is uh, building a new roller coaster, which will be bigger than the Pepsi Max big one. Um, so that would make the Pepsi Max the second biggest roller coaster in the UK. But, uh, you know, what they could do with that is uh, bring a crane in and uh, just jack it up a little bit more. Um, lengthen the lengthen the hill, hill climb on it. And, uh, you know, I think uh, they should really bring a crane in and uh, I know this sounds crazy, but bring a big crane in and just lift it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, put a section in and, and that, make it uh, a bit taller. Yeah. Um, also, I've been hearing that uh, the uh, new um, wheel has been on ferris wheel has been ordered, ordered for the central pier also i've been hearing southport's getting their new um uh ferris wheel and as i've also heard that pleasureland southport are also getting a new getting a permanent fixture coaster um which will be uh you know pretty big Especially for them, anyway. Well, I'm going to bugger off now, and uh, hopefully I'll most probably put something up for tomorrow. Oh, wow, it looks like they're doing, looks like they're doing coffee machines now. Yeah, they're doing coffee machines now. Yeah, well, I'm gonna bugger off now, and I just hope everybody's having a having a, a great time where, wherever and uh, whatever you're doing. Well, I'm gonna go three, two, one, click.